Hi, this is Lance Edwards, author of the book, How to Make Big Money in Small Apartments. And this lesson is, Why Apartments Are the Ideal Investment. And this is something I learned from my very first trainer, very first mentor, so I want to pay it forward to you, because this is a vehicle, it's a very simple uh, process by which to evaluate any investment vehicle. And you use what's called the ideal formula. And ideal is the acronym for the five attributes of every investment, what you're looking for. You want an investment that provides income, one that provides you depreciation, benefits through your taxes, one that creates equity and has equity, one that enjoys appreciation, and one that you can leverage, or one that you can acquire through leverage. So let's look at each of these first of all and what they mean with regards to apartments. So by income, what do I mean? We want an investment that provides income, passive income. And obviously that's the rent revenue that comes in on our buildings that are being managed by mother, by others, because that's where the passive income comes in. Certainly, apartments have that, passive income. Depreciation. Depreciation is the benefit the IRS grants us on the buildings we own due to, due to simply the aging of the buildings. It's a paper loss that we can take on our income tax returns and reduce our total taxes. And in general, the simple version of it is the IRS allows us to depreciate our buildings over 27 and a half years. So if you have a building that's worth $2.75 million, that means it's depreciating at $100,000 per year, just to keep the math simple. That $100,000 a year is a paper loss, and you can take that paper loss and use it to offset income as a deduction on your active income. You do this as a real estate professional, a real estate professional is someone who spends 500 hours per year working in real estate, does not require a license, but usually real estate on a part-time basis. You can qualify yourself as a real estate professional on your IRS return, and you can take 100% of that depreciation loss in this year's tax return. See your CPA, but the huge point here is you get depreciation benefits with apartments. The third part of the formula and ideal is equity. Obviously, your buildings have equity, and the equity is the difference between the current value and the mortgage. Well, one thing, our equity is growing every month because our renters, our residents, are paying down the mortgage for us. And as that mortgage gets paid down, our equity is growing just by the fact that they're paying us. One thing I want you to keep in mind, you want to love your residents. I don't call them tenants, I call them your residents because residents are those people who go out every single day to send you 40% of their income every single day as rent. So you're growing equity with your apartment investments. The fourth attribute is appreciation, and this is a big one. Appreciation comes from two areas. You can have either market appreciation or forced appreciation. Now, market appreciation, you don't have control over. That's just when the market drives prices up. It's a bonus when it's occurred. Forced appreciation is when it really gets exciting because forced appreciation is how you can force the value of your buildings going up in a predictable manner just by raising the rents and just by raising the occupancies. It's purely a formula. It's very simple. I'll be teaching you how. Appreciation. The last attribute of the ideal investment is you can buy it through leverage. And that's what we're all about in real estate. The whole benefit of real estate is being able to acquire these properties and leverage. We have a hard asset to put up as collateral. We got land. We have a physical building. We can lay our hands on it. It's a real building that we can put our hands on and that's the collateral you can put up even doing 100% financing on these properties and buying them through leverage. Those are the five attributes. When you line it up, apartments are the only investment vehicle Specifically, commercial income producing property is the only investment vehicle that gives you all five attributes. Let's pick another one, for example. Let's say stocks. Let's say you want to invest in stocks. Do stocks provide income? Yes, if they pay a dividend. If they don't pay a dividend, no, they don't pay income. Do they offer you depreciation benefits? No. Do you have equity in your stock? Well, hopefully, yes, but with the money you invest in it. Do they appreciate? Yes, that's the primary reason people buy stocks is for the appreciation. Can you buy them through leverage? Yes, you can actually use your stocks to borrow money against, but it's up limited to 50% of your stock value. You get into real estate, you can do it at 70%, 80% of your value, greater, greater leverage. That's just one example of how when you size up apartments, you line it up, apartments are the only vehicle that allow you to hit all five, all five attributes of the ideal formula. That's another reason why I want you to get started in small apartments. Start small, get that first critical deal done. I look forward to seeing you out in the field.